So we've had the Tug Enough toys for just over a week now and they're still going strong. Uh, we haven't noticed any damage or um, fraying or anything like that on the on the fluffy sections. So um, all in all, doing really well. Nyx loves his Tuggy toy. He does enjoy it. Will be mad. And Coda enjoys carrying this around and on occasion <laughs> we'll play with it. Yes. But um, if I leave him with that one, um, he will start plucking the black fur out of it. But um, that is more instinct than anything. So in the packet that came with the toys, you also get this complete guide to tugging and um, within this book you get how to introduce your dog to tugging, four games to try, how to care for your tug enough toy and there's a bit of training at the back, um, some FAQs and things like that if your um, say if your dog bites you or you need to leave the toy it's all sort of handled here in the back. Yeah if you're wanting to get a bit more oomph from your dog then a tuggy toy is probably the best way to go because it's sort of an extension of yourself and these is the way to do it. Some dogs for example, Nyx is, if I was to give him the option of a tug toy and a treat he would choose the toy every single time. If I was to give the same option to Koda he would choose food every single time. So. Depending on your dog, you need to choose the right reward to suit what he's just um, achieved. If, um, if it's just simple obedience, for example, a treat will go down nicely with Nyx. But if you want to sort of keep his energy levels up uh, for agility, fly ball, things like that, um, then you want to sort of keep that sort of motivation and, you know, the praise reward needs to match. So a good tuggy toy at the end of agility a good game to reward him instead of food is sort of the best way to keep your dog's motivation levels up. So again, a tuggy toy is well recommended. One thing I would mention with these fluffy ones is that <laughs> if you have a grassy garden, they do have to get covered in all sorts of things. Um, I mean, it's not a problem. I've got dog brushes coming out of my ears, so I just give them a brush and they're back as new as again. But <laughs> they do get covered in a lot of things. Just something to think about. If you're throwing it about the grasses, uh, they could pick up grass seeds, and, and that's obviously one thing you don't want your dog to ingest. So obviously keep an eye on what the fluffy things pick up. Especially, obviously, the teaser toy if you're meant to be dragging it around the floor. <laughs> One thing I would say with this is that <laughs> you really don't want your dog to let go. Because <laughs> this, out of the way, out of the way. This is, out of the way, come here. This is really strong elastic. If your, dog's legs, if your dog lets go, that's going to ping straight back into your face. And that's going to hurt. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's been done before. But um, just a um, a heads up there that you really don't want to do it. The, um, the fur, when it gets obviously wet, stays um, a bit more spiky, but they don't care about that. Um, and in terms of quality, it's, it's strong stuff. So yeah, quality wise, this is strong materials. It's clearly built to last. And um, it, currently it is. So, I mean, a week in and it looks as if we've just got it out of the packet. Which is good. You like strong toys. So I think Tug Enough would 
easily deserve a five out of five and I think Nyx would happily give them a five out of five too. Good strong toys, built for tugging or teasing, <laughs> depending on your dog. And it's really quite hard to find a dog toy that will actually last and withstand a good tuggy game. So um, when you find a good brand that is, is there and is built to last, then um, it's worth shouting about. So Tug Enough has definitely got a five out of five from us. And um, definitely if you have a dog that enjoys a good tug game, these are the toys to get. I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.